Welcome to Pop-Up Camper Pro. I'm your host, Derek Smith, and today I'm gonna to show you how to hook up to your pop-up camper. We're gonna put the hitch bar into the receiver first. There are two popular classes of receivers when it comes to towing pop-up campers. That's class three and class five. Class three is the more common and it's a two inch by two inch opening. It slides in, line it up to the holes back here, and then we secure it with a 5 8 pin and clip. I always like to chop one wheel when I'm hooking up. Now back up to the camper nice and easy. Take your time, there's no race. You want to try to get the tow vehicle as close as possible and as straight as possible. Now, if you're new to pop-up campers uh, and you need to spec out this type of equipment for your camper, you just need to know the size of the drop that you need for your drop bar and the size of the ball that the camper takes. For the drop bar height, it's a matter of what truck you're using. On this F-350, uh, this bar at about six inch drop works perfect. When you're all hooked up, you want the truck and the camper to set level. Taller trucks, deeper drop bar, shorter trucks, shorter drop bar. For the ball, the coupler will have the size of the ball that's required uh, stamped in on the A-frame head. So popular balls for Coleman and Fleetwood pop-up campers are two inch and inch and a seven eighths. The Cheyenne that we're hooking up to takes a two inch ball. Our camper needs to come up a little bit, so I'm gonna pull the front wheel truck. Now I'm gonna take hold of the A-frame and set it onto the ball. Close the coupler and put my safety lock pin in through the coupler. Time to raise and store the tongue jack. You wanna make sure when you swing these into stored position that none of your cables are in the way. Now it's time to hook up our safety chains. And we want to cross them underneath. So the one on the right is going to hook up to the left. And the one on the left is going to hook up to the right. Now it's time to hook up the breakaway device. So the breakaway device job is to stop the trailer in the instance of an uncoupling. It relies on a healthy 12 volt battery and a cable attached to the truck. So in the event of a failure, this pin would pull out of this box and engage the trailer brakes and stop the camper. So we use another quick link and we hook it right up to the brackets where the chains are hooked up to on the truck. Next comes the vehicle's electric. So this camper has a seven way connection and it's gonna plug into the seven way port on the back of my truck. There's a up and a down. So take note of this little bracket and orientate it properly into the housing. Uh, the seven way connector does two things. It um, engages the trailer brakes. So we have brake control when we're using a seven way connector and it also charges the battery when it's hooked up to the tow vehicle. So the lid goes all the way up, seven way connector goes in, and let the lid fall. Now I'm gonna plug in the battery harness. I keep it unplugged when I'm not using it, so the battery doesn't drain from the uh, detectors inside constantly running. Grab your other wheel chop. So we're all hooked up and it's time to tow. Since this vehicle has brakes on it, we're gonna check the operation of the brakes before we leave. And we're just gonna do that with the brake controller inside the cab. So this truck has an integrated brake controller. And when we start the truck up, it's gonna sense the trailer. And I got my gain set to four. So that's pretty common, uh, right about the middle. So to check the brakes, I'm gonna put in gear, all right, and you can see the display as I push the brake harder, giving more energy to the brakes. 
I'm just gonna let the truck drift and energize the system. And that stopped us. And that's how you hitch up your camper to your tow vehicle, folks. I hope this was helpful. Please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, and give the video a thumbs up. I will see you guys at the campground.